Hey y'all, welcome back and thank you to everybody who commented on the previous videos, be that on YouTube, Facebook, or in person. Uh, of course at this point I've got only a handful up, so that was pretty much friends and family. But really, thank you. The, uh, the feedback helps. First off, the, the number one thing that everybody said was, Ooh, you're doing YouTube! I know there's a cool way you can make money with that. I'll do that. Not all of that, but I, I will eventually do some kind of monetization, if, if nothing else, like an Amazon affiliate link, something. I will probably err on the side of under-monetizing, because, well, I see too much stuff out there that's way over-monetized, and I don't want to do that. So for now, I'm going to just concentrate on getting good stuff out there, and that was the other thing was, hey, cool video. Um, I don't really understand what you were doing. Could you talk a little more, maybe, and explain what you're doing? I can do that. So I'm going to go, right now it's the middle of winter and all my pallets are just snowed in. It's going crazy out there with the snow right now. But I'll do this part. I've already got some set aside and I'll go bust those up again and this time, tell you what I'm doing. Getting started here, uh, I've got my various tools that I'm going to be using. First off is the hammer. Got a sledge end on this side and a cross peen on this side of the head. I'll be using my sledge end. I have two pry bars. These are, these are actually identical. One of them I left out in the elements for a little too long. It got rusty, nasty. I took it and uh, sandblasted all that off and now you can see it's got a nice gray finish on it. Pliers. I'm using multi-tool. I'm using a multi-tool. Really any pliers would do. Really, and I suppose you'd say you might not need them. I find them very handy. And of course ear protection and gloves. I should probably get some safety glasses but I don't have any with me at the moment so I'm going to roll without them for now. Getting on now with the actual business of doing some work. Air plugs in. Get my gloves on. Get the stuff out of the way. So here's the part where I cut this out of the whole pallet and now we've got to get it off. This is secured with two nails and not only are they nailed through but they're bent over. All I'm doing here is I'm taking this board, run it up against a nice sturdy uh, something to whack against. In this case concrete cellar wall. That'll do nicely. Take one of my pry bars, set it right here, separate these two pieces of wood and give it a nice gentle tap, so to speak. Now that I've got my pry bar wedge underneath there, I'm going to hold this end down. I'm going to pull this that way, kind of like having a, actually it is a lever, and this right here is the fulcrum. So I say pull that way, I'm going to start pulling that way, but as this comes up, I'm going to try to pull at 90 degrees to this lever right here. One of the nails decided to stay in that one. Eh, let's see if we end up using that board or not. Same thing here. I can either go ahead and tap on it this end, flip the thing around, and tap on it from that side. I'm just going to do this.
slit right there. So in order to support both sides of that, I'm going to use both my pry bars. got to do is remove the nails. As you can see they're they're nice and straight. Oh yeah. No, not quite. Straighten them out. I can use a pry bar. Before I come over here, grab my pliers. Straighten them out with those. To remove these nails, I'm going to bring the board over the edge of my workbench where I can support right up to the nail or the nail head there. And that way, I can give this as, uh, basically I can, I can convert as much of that force as, uh, as possible to actually pushing that nail through and not use it up with bending and flexing this wood. When I do that, I have found it useful to hold these nails with the pliers. The point of that is to keep this nail from, bend, from uh, bending. And to be entirely honest, it doesn't prevent it, but it does help lessen the likelihood. Now, I want to do the same thing using the pry bar. Be honest. I prefer the I prefer the three pounder. Take it. Flip it over. Back to the pry bar. Pop. There's my nail. That one. Yeah, look at that. sticks and go in the trash. That's about all there is to it.